this house in Acapulco, it was the idea of the whole family, except Placido, to make like a trap, to force him to rest. So we say, okay, we are going to make a house, and we are going to come, the whole family here, and we are going to phone him, oh, you are working there? and we are all here enjoy this beautiful sun and this beautiful sea. So if you don't come, it's your problem. So we force him, he loves the house because it's 45 minutes from Mexico City. And now we have more vacations than ever. And whenever we have uh, three or four days, we come here and we really enjoy it. The children somehow, they are involved in the artistic side. Alvaro is a, a film producer and a director also. Plassi is a composer. He has written beautiful songs and he has been commissioned to write an opera. And Pepe, has been working on a special kind of loudspeakers. Something very interesting. Even here, he has the time to memorize his score because it's one score after the other that he has to learn. He's so relaxed and so happy that maybe half an hour that he can dedicate to his course is welcome. After so many years of doing what I do and having the career and the position that I have, I can say I'm happy. There is always in life something that you regret and you haven't made. Personally, I think all the time that you haven't been able to spend with the people that you love, really you regret it at the end, especially when you lose them, you know? When you lose the people, then you say to why? I was not able to stay more time with them. And also, when you see your children growing, and you were not able to spend so many, many, many hours of their childhood. I mean, all of a sudden you turn and they are men. Those are things that you regret forever. I guess we are a singing family. We all sing together, you know. There is a tradition in Spain and Mexico and when all the family gets together, we all sing together. Unfortunately, this weekend, neither my beloved sister, Maria Jose, my brother-in-law, Alfonso, or the children are with us as they are visiting, just like I was until yesterday, my dear mother in the hospital. I wish they were all here. I wish my mother was here also. Plasio was very, very lucky. He was born with parents, performers, that love singing for the sake of singing. The very moment he opened his eyes, he was there in the middle of a musical family, everybody crazy about music. So this was something they give to their child. I was born in Spain, in Madrid, 21st of January, 1941. Really difficult times, 
Second World War. Perhaps it's not the best time to be born, but what can you do? My father was an extraordinary musician. He, he used to play the violin first. He plays the violin in the orchestra. And um, he really starts singing after, after he plays the violin and then he finds out he, he has a voice. A little bit like myself, I also I start playing the piano and then I, later on I find I have a voice. He was a very successful baritone, really. He really was singing, the, was the tremendously uh, handsome and with a very expressive voice, uh, with a lot of feeling. He used to have a tremendous facility to, to make a great diminuendo in a note, you know, so the, all the girls, they were really like this when he was singing. So there are some, some, some things like, for instance, He was singing to a dark hair lady that said, And really, nobody can sing that better than my father. It was so extraordinary, really. He used to sing this, uh, uh, this particular piece, which is from Luisa Fernanda, which is a famous composer, Torrova, which later on, he was the one that brought my parents to America. So he's very much, he's part of my life, this composer. And really, I mean, all the ladies, they were really crazy for my father. He has to sing it three and four times every evening. It was really an extraordinary voice. A long time ago, I traicioned you and to liberty. The liberty that me pides sangre and money, you send. In cuanto to Luisa Fernanda, lo que ella quiere. Of course, my mother's voice was an operatic one, and in fact, she was known as the Queen of the Sassuela. In 1946, they went from Spain to Mexico. We were separated about two years, you know? And uh, they went to Puerto Rico, they went to La Habana, and uh, then, when they finish in Mexico, they decide and they want to form their own company, and they want to bring us uh, to Mexico. So we, my sister and myself, we went from Spain to Mexico. And we arrived in Mexico just three days before I was eight years old. A little after we arrived in Mexico, my parents, they have a singing competition for children. And um, I went, I went and I sang. I sang a, a Spanish song and I remember it. I was, uh, maybe we can find a picture of that. I was, um, I was quite um, heavy and with short pants because in Spain we used to, you know, very much so like in England, the children, they used to go with uh, short pants and in those days. And I sang and I, I win the competition. I mean, I won the competition. And uh, what you sang? oh, I sang a. Uh, I sang so. Ay, tani que mi tani que mi tani, ay tani que mi tani que mi ta, ay tani ta mi morena gitana más buena no ha habido ni habrá. Uno y uno dos, dos y una tres, no sale la cuenta porque falta un churumbel. So that, that was you know, and I won the competition, and. Uh, Little by little, my parents, they realized that I have 